by profession. I worked 16 hour days, weekends, nights. I uh, ended up with just a very simple back injury, what many people have, a, a prolapse disc. Then did a, a similar injury to my neck and just continued in this, in this vein uh, until I ended up a great big heap of chronic pain. I didn't seek compensation immediately, I kept working, but when this particular doctor recommended that I take time off work, um, I, I had to seek compensation. Then I ended up in this cycle where I um, eventually was pensioned off from my job before I was 40. That introduced me to a whole new world of, of uh, medico-legal specialists, which was something I'd never encountered before and was a real shock to my system. I was working in a human rights field of law, so uh, litigation was actually quite foreign to me, even though I was a lawyer. And I have to say, I pity anyone who's not a lawyer who's entering the, me the medico-legal field or the compensation field. My experience is that you walk into any medico-legal consultant's office and their attitude is just say no. I was in tears many times confronting uh, doctors who were employed by insurance companies because it was clear that they were not there for the patient, they were there for the insurance company. I often wonder why doctors become medico-legal consultants. Uh, I've, I've sometimes questioned whether these are the doctors that have been struck off, because some of them are so bad. Their job is to say no, because they're paid by an insurance company and they need to ensure their continued income with that, insur with that insurance company. And that uh, if they keep letting people through, then they'll find another medico-legal consultant. I have to think, you know, where's the Hippocratic Oath <laughs> for these doctors? You know, have they forgotten what their profession is all about? I've um, actually written letters at times asking, why is this doctor a medico-legal consultant? He's old and crotchety and um, it, can he no longer see patients anymore? I've, I've never got any answers to those questions, of course. I've been a bit, bit um, uh, you know, gung-ho in asking those questions, but they're, they're not the sort of doctors that I would go and see as a patient. I have had 10 years now of seeing medico-legal specialists. I've challenged every single report that's been written about me successfully. I've not had to go to court. I've, I've, I've challenged them administratively. I've not set foot in a court once. But I pity people who have to. I think maybe a review needs to, to occur into the whole, whole business of medico-legal consultants. There needs to be a review into the industry. In the meantime, I've also been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, so that just kind of tops it all off.